Hey folks, welcome to another Ryan Taste Beer. Today, I have an Oktoberfest beer. Um, Hofbrau Oktoberfest. Alright, I've never had this beer. Uh, let's see anything we got here. Any useful information? Hofbrau in München. If I remember right, that's Munich. Out of Munich. Um, Munich specialty brewed according to the German purity law. Um, I got this beer from a buddy. Uh, I watched the UNI versus Wichita game. Um, we got we got beat. We got we got our asses handed to us. It was a good game for the most part, uh, but uh, it, it was it hurt to lose that one a little bit. Now, you know, I'm not even in the sports, you know, but. Uh, at least I got a free beer out of it from my buddy Bill. So thanks, Bill, if you're watching. Um, I'm going to pour this into my glass here. I'm sorry about all the noise. I tried to move into kind of a different area of the apartment. So I'm actually like right next to the bathroom right now. I'm in the hallway. I'm in the hallway right now. I started the dishwasher earlier and I went, oh crap. But I wanted to try this beer, so. Was a pry off. Um, yeah, I'm using the counter to put things on. Let's see, let's check it out. Get me single speed glass. I don't even know what the right. I, I suppose the right glass for an Oktoberfest would be a mug, but my mugs are in the freezer, so I don't really have a good mug to put it in, so you can see it. So let's just go on here. Holy cow, look at that. It is a light, light beer. Holy crap. So, Hofbrau. I've never had any Hofbrau beers. I think somebody had mentioned at the, the party I was at that they do make a couple different beers. This is the Oktoberfest. Take a look at that. It's really clear. I mean, Looks a little orange in the camera, but it is yellow. It is definitely yellow. It is clear. You can see anything through that, you know. <laughs> Look at my head. Oh, oh. My brain is very big. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm enjoying that too much. I'll be a little bit ahead there from that pour. Um, a little de decent lacing. Eh, that's like around too long. Ooh, it does have that skunk to it. It's definitely a lager. Um, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Lagers tend to have a little bit more of a skunkiness to them. A little skunky. It's kind of skunky, a little sweet. I mean, it's not like if you actually got sprayed by a skunk, I mean, that'd be far worse. But um, lagers have that kind of scent to them. Wow, that's pretty good. There's not a whole lot going on with this beer. Um, it is definitely one of those that you could you could drink really easily, though. I mean, you could probably go through a six pack of these and not even think twice and go, "Holy cow! I just went through all that." Um, it has a little bit of sweetness to it. It's definitely a lager. It does taste good, but just a little bit of sweetness. Not a whole lot of carbonation. Uh, this is a little low on carbonation. I mean, we've got, we got a little bit of head there, but it's enjoyable. That is just a, that's a pretty good beer. I don't, I don't know what else I would expect from this. I don't know. I'm making an Oktoberfest right now myself, and it's. Um, it's actually going to be, it's kind of a mock Oktoberfest, it's going to be an ale and not a lager style, which is not a traditional Oktoberfest, but this is pretty good. Um, I do enjoy this. I'll give it a three and a half out of five. I know some people go, oh, that's not good, that's not a real good score, but, hey, 
if you're above three in my book, because it takes a lot to get four and a half or five out of me. So this is pretty good. I could drink this. If I saw this in a store and I was in the mood for something like it, I, I would def I would buy this. It's pretty good. Oh wow. I do like that. Cheers everybody. See you next time.